Welcome to installment number 218 of the mitzvahs as enumerated by Maimonides the Rambam. Today we have one mitzvah, positive commandment 96, which speaks of a nevela. A nevela is an animal that has not been properly slaughtered. It can be a kosher animal or a non-kosher animal. It is simply a carcass that died for whatever reason was not slaughtered properly. Now, a such a carcass can render one impure by touching it or by carrying it. Now, Maimonides has an interesting question. He says, why then is this a positive commandment? A positive commandment would be keep Shabbos. We're to fill in. Those are positive commandments. What's positive about this? And here he explains something very interesting. He says, to become impure is not a sin. It is not prohibited to becoming to become impure. The Torah doesn't say you are not allowed to touch this carcass, and neither does it say that you must touch the carcass. It simply says that if you do, you will become impure. It is your choice. You have the option to do this, and the consequence is that you will become impure. And what does that mean? Once you become impure, Two things. Number one, you will not be allowed within the uh, the court of the Israelites in the temple, Machane Hashchina. And secondly, you will not be allowed to eat of the kachim, the holy, the holy foods in the temple. So once you are impure, these two things are not allowed to you, and you will need to go through the motions to become pure if you want to be able to have these two privileges. So it is not a sin to become impure. Simply, these are the steps, these are the consequences of what happens when one does choose to do so. Now, interestingly, again, this only applies really to animals and not to birds, because when it comes to um, animals, larger animals, they more resemble um, human, and thus our spiritual similarities exist as well. However, when it comes to birds, um, we have a much lesser commonality with our physical appearance with birds, and therefore our spiritual connection too is not quite the same. And with the bird, touching it or even carrying it will not render one impure simply by eating it. It actually takes one to eat it to become impure. Such is the vast difference between the animals and birds. And just so interesting because when it comes to animals, that as we said, it's not just uh, not just eating it, but holding it as well and, uh, and touching it, of course. And of course, today, these, these laws don't really apply because we don't have the temple. It's, it really doesn't doesn't necessarily apply to us today. However, when you think about it, you know, we often say we are what we eat, but, and that is 100% true. And this is the purpose why we eat kosher and we're so careful with what goes into our mouths because we are what we eat, but even more so. We are not just what we eat, but we are also what we carry. And we have to, you know, in this age of mindful living, let's be mindful that what we are carrying is is holy that what we are carrying in our minds and what we carry in our hearts are things that help us for our growth and for our spirituality and not god forbid things that will pull us down have a wonderful day